Hi friends, welcome back to another topic, regular fallacy method with example and Python code. Here we will study how to find root of a function using method of regular fallacy or false position. Root of a function f of x means the value or values of x for which f of x becomes 0. Regular fallacy is one of the oldest method, is the oldest method to find real root of a numerical equation. The backbone theorem behind the regular fallacy is same as the backbone theorem behind the dissection method. That is, if a function f of x is continuous between x equal to a and x equal to b and f of a and f of b are of opposite signs then there exists at least one root between a and b. Regular fallacy method is almost equivalent to the bisection method. Instead of bisection of interval in bisection method here we find the straight line equation connecting between a and b that is the straight line this straight line connecting between a comma f of a and b comma f of b then we find the x value where the straight line meets the x axis putting y is equal to f of x equal to 0 in the straight line equation. That is, we find where this straight line meets the x axis and this x value is taken as the first approximate root. So to find the straight line equation, we take 1 by slope of the straight line so 1 by slope of the straight line by taking some arbitrary point x comma y can be written like this x minus a x minus a divided by y minus f of a and 1 by slope for all the straight line can be written like this which is equal to b minus a divided by f of b minus f of a so that we get x equal to multiplying this y minus f of a to the right side and taking this minus a to the right side x is obtained as a plus y minus f of a into b minus a divided by f of b minus f of a so this is the equation for the straight line or we get equation for x from the straight line equation so we have now we have to find where the straight line meets the x axis or where it becomes y is equal to 0 so to find that x value we set y is equal to 0 in this equation so setting y is equal to 0 this y becomes 0 so the first approximate root x naught will be obtained as a minus f of a into b minus a divided by f of b minus f of a. So we set this x naught as the first approximate root and now we check whether this f of x naught is positive or negative or zero. If this f of x naught is 0, then itself, it is itself the root, the exact root. If f of x naught is negative, then we replace the a by the first approximated a by this x naught. If it is positive, then we replace the b value by x naught. And this procedure of finding the approximate roots proceeds until we get the same 
xn minus 1 and xn up to the required decimal points. So here in this figure, we found the straight line equation and we found the x1 here. Here, instead of x0, it is written as x1. So this x1, at this x1, the f of x1 is clearly, it is a negative value. So that we replace this point, this a, by this x1. So now, this is the exact root. This point is the exact root. So this first approximate root is almost very near to the exact root. So here, instead of bisecting the this interval, we, fi we find the approximate root by this kind of method. This is one animation for the regular fallacy method. Initially, we find the straight line connecting between the point, first point. Then we find this first x value. Then we replace the a by this first x value. And we find the second straight line. Then we find the second x value. Then we find the third straight line. We find the third x value, third approximate root. In this way, this approximate root comes very near to the real root. Here, we will see an example for the regular fallacy method. Find real root of the equation x log x minus 1.2 equal to 0, correct to four decimal points. Initially, we find the two points A and B for which f of A and f of B are of opposite signs. We select A is equal to 1 so that f of A equal to f of 1 equal to minus 1.2 and B is equal to 2 so that f of B equal to f of 2 equal to minus 0.5979. Since both are negative, we cannot ensure a root lies between the interval A and B. So that we take another interval. We take A is equal to 2 so that f of A is equal to f of 2 is equal to minus 0.5979 and we take B is equal to 3 so that f of b is equal to f of 3 is equal to 0.23136. Now we find the approximate root x as a minus f of a into b minus a by f of b minus f of a. Putting a and b values, we get the first approximate root as 2.72. 1014. Now we check whether this f of x is positive or negative. Here f of x1 is obtained as f of 2.721014 equal to minus 0 0.017019. That is a negative value. So that now the roots lies between this approximate root and b is equal to 3. That is between x1 is equal to 2.7210 and b is equal to 3. So we replace this x1, we replace the value of a by this x1 value and so the new values becomes a is equal to 2.72104 and b is equal to 3. So this procedure continues until we get the same xn minus 1 and xn up to 4 decimal points. It is the tabulated procedure for the above regular palsy problem. Initially we ended 1 and 2 
since the fourth A and the fourth B are of same sign, we enter another interval 2 and 3 and we start the table. The first approximate root is calculated as this one. We get f of x as a negative value. So we replace this a by the approximate root. Again we calculate the approximate root check the f of x which is again a negative value. Again we replace this approximate root with this a value. Again calculate the next approximate root. Again replace the a value. Again calculate the next approximate root. Here for the third and fourth steps, up to four decimal points, the approximated root values are equal. So we can say that up to four decimal points, the root is 2.7406. Here it is the Python code for regular falsi method. Initially, we import the math module since the expression contains log. Then we start with an infinite while loop, enter the first assumed a and b values. Then we define the expression x log x minus 1.2. Then we initialize a null list for x values, the i is equal to 0 for counting the number of steps. If f of a and f of b are of opposite signs, means their product is negative, we proceed. Otherwise, we'll return no roots in this interval. Enter another interval. Again, go back to this point. If they are of opposite signs, we proceed, print the title of the tables, then we start another infinite while loop, then calculate the approximate root xn using the equation for the approximate root. Now append this xn to the list x, then we print the table of values, number of steps i, a, b, approximate root and f of xn. If this f of xn and f of a are of same sign, means their product is positive, we replace the value of a by the approximate root xn. If they are of opposite signs, we replace the number of uh, the b value by the approximate root xn. If the difference between two consecutive approximate root is less than the required accuracy, we print the root and break from the while loop and from the outer while loop. This is the output for the above Python code. Initially ended a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 so that it returned no roots in this interval enter another interval so that again ended a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 now we get the table for the first step and finally the root is printed thank you for watching